So one of the things that's really important about being a thought leader, if you're going to go to all that trouble, <laughs> good trouble, uh, is to know how and understand how to amplify the impact that you're having. Walk us through your shout process that you developed. Yeah, and rather than go through all the steps, I'll just kind of give you the underlying concept here. To me, putting yourself on shout, as I talk a lot in the book about it, is really about being discoverable. If nobody knows what you're doing, if no one can find you, then really all the change you're making is going to be smaller as a result. It's not to say you won't make change, but in order to find the tribe or have the tribe find you, you need to be discoverable. Now, that can be a hundred different ways. It could be that you're really great at doing podcasts. It could be that you love to speak. It could be that you're a really great writer and you can guest blog or blog. There's a hundred ways to put yourself on shout. But what I recognize is that part of this framework of cre crafting those top three messages is part of the fundamental success factors of a thought leader. You need to have a way to distill what you know in a way that others can remember and repeat and make it a, a chance for others to pick up what you're doing and carry it forward, amplify you, for example. If you're talking in gobbledygook or if you are, don't, don't just take the time to distill those messages and you don't put yourself out in a visible way, you're actually undercutting that possible success and that, that, that momentum that you really want to have. So the, the shout chapter is really that, is, is figuring out those messages, figuring out who your audience is and making yourself discoverable in ways, that, in, buck, in little buckets and in little ways that uh, people can pick up and, and carry forward for you.